The following clip is taken from Module 7 of the Acrylic Painting Academy, brought to you by TheVirtualInstructor.com. This course, along with other courses and live lessons, are available to members of TheVirtualInstructor.com. To learn how you can become a member and access all the great courses, live lessons, and lesson plans, visit TheVirtualInstructor.com forward slash members. Next color scheme is analogous. Analogous colors are three to five colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. They provide a harmonious color scheme. In this case, we'll stick with four colors that are next to each other. Yellow, green, green, blue, green, and blue. We'll start by defining the background and we'll use a light yellow green. The actual pigments used in this section are ultramarine, cadmium yellow light, titanium white, and then again we'll use ultramarine and burnt umber to create a natural black to create the shades. Ultramarine is allowed to dominate in the mix in areas. This will create a bit of interest in the background and create a few locations of accent. We can continue to lighten the bottom portion of the picture plane and darken the upper portion creating a subtle transition from darker to lighter values. This time, we'll start with the shadowed areas on the pair. We'll start with a blue-green. Again, this is just a mixture of the yellow and blue dominated by the blue. We'll also establish an area of cast shadow. This value is slightly darker than the value used on the pair itself. Here again, we'll define the shape of the cast shadow first and refine it later in the painting. Now with the yellow-green, we can start to define the lighter side of the pair. As this application overlaps the darker shadowed side of the pair, some of the color underneath will show through. Before developing the pair further, we'll make the value at the bottom of the picture plane a bit lighter. In essence, we're increasing the contrast between the pair and the surrounding values. This is just a lighter value of the green mixture that we included in the background. Now we can return to the pair, and here again we're going to push and pull the darker and lighter values until we arrive at the illusion of form that we're after. Here we'll start with the shadows. Again, we're cognizant of the form of the pair, attempting to pull the brush strokes following the cross contours of the form. We can use various mixtures of the green and the yellow green, as well as the blue green, to create transition areas and various midtones. With each application, some of the applications underneath will show through. This will allow us to slowly develop the illusion. A bit of pure ultramarine is used as an accent in the area of core shadow. A few spots and blemishes are added using a darker value of the blue-green. An application of a lighter value of yellow-green is added on top. Some of the spots and blemishes will still show through this application. Using the side of the brush, we can scrub the paint into the surface using a dry brush technique. This will allow some of the color underneath to show through and create smoother transitions between colors and values. We'll also clean up the edge of the pair 
using a lighter value of the blue-green. And then we'll add a few spots of intense highlight. This may appear white, but it's actually a very light value of yellow-green. Now we'll add a few last blemishes here with ultramarine. Now we can push the values in the area of the cast shadow a bit further. I've mixed a bit of burnt umber and ultramarine to create a natural black, then mix that color with our blue-green mixture. This will create a nice and dark natural shadow. We'll add the stem using this same mixture. Again, we'll start with the shape of the stem and then add a lighter value of blue-green to create the highlights. And now we can remove the tape for this section and move on to our third color scheme. 